Former NBA draft pick and star overseas, Winston Kreit had a long basketball career before taking a head coaching job at local high schools here. Sports director Stephen Hicks has a story of his journey back to Bakersfield and his new perspective on life. Get back! Hustle! Whether it's inside the gym at Frontier High School. That's us, that's us. Or it was 35 years ago in South Highs. Go get him, go get him. Winston Kreit has more or less remained the same. Yes. Still yes. fueled by a love for the game. We play with passion, okay? We play with purpose. Still looking for the next challenge, even after coming within hours of death. I've been given a second chance. Kreit is in his second year as head coach of the Frontier Titans. Hey, Lucas, you have to front him. A school not known for its basketball. And these layups we're getting, those are the reward for the defense you guys have played. But if we can't capitalize on that, we cannot beat this team. After 12 years, the program is still chasing its first title. <laughs> Frontier, obviously, was the biggest possible challenge I could take. Growing up in South Bakersfield, Crichton has grown accustomed to facing a challenge. We had a big rivalry at that time with BHS. It was nice to come in there as the underdogs and, and knock them off. A part of the Rebels' 1981 Valley title winning team, his time at South High was where he found his game. I began to realize that I could jump higher than other guys. I was blessed with some abilities that I needed to develop, but they were special. After South, he headed to Texas A&M, where he would play all four years. Which is almost as hard to get as a degree. <laughs> he finished his career fourth in school history for scoring, <laughs> second all-time in rebounds, and first in career blocks. Partially blocked, right? I always had a chip on my shoulder because I was from Bakersfield, and I felt like we didn't get the respect we deserved. On June 22nd, 1987, let's go back to the podium and David Stern. The Phoenix Suns took him as the 53rd pick in the NBA draft. After two seasons in the desert, he learned about the business side of the league and was released. I got to just play and develop and love the game and travel the world, you know, and get paid doing what I love to do. He'd spend 10 years playing overseas before returning to Bakersfield in search of his next challenge. I call him the Pied Piper. I mean, I don't care if the kid is talented or not. He's able to pull it out of him. Thanks to the insistence from his wife, Michelle, Kreit opened a basketball training club called Footwork Inc. When Winston would begin to talk, I'm like, well, why aren't you doing that? Why aren't you doing that? Contain. For 13 Contain. years, he was asked when he would take up coaching. And then finally, the right fit at Frontier. This is your home. You have to defend it. But last summer, the wins and losses took a back seat. I had to sit down. It was one of the first times in practice where I just said, I'm going to go over and sit down. I'll let the other coaches coach. The chest pains continued even after practice. He's laying on the couch. He's just kind of, you know, just not himself. And so I just threw a fit and said, we're going. Michelle drove him to the emergency room where they learned Winston had just had a stroke. They told me you had about two hours before you were done. Even after the scare, his heart wasn't fully healthy, operating at just 15%. At that level of function, the risk of having bad heart rhythm, sudden death is extremely high. Dr. Rasham Sandhu, a local cardiologist, told Winston the two of them could beat the diagnosis, but that he would have to go through surgery right before preseason conditioning. I'm thinking about the boys and the team. I can't do that right now. And he goes, so you want to live or you want to die? I go, well, I want to live. He goes, okay, you're, you're having surgery. Your loved one is laying there. This is my best friend. You know, just talking about it, you know, makes me get really emotional, but um, he's strong. Following the procedure and new medication, Winston beat the odds. Good to see you guys. Returning to the sideline at Frontier less than a year later. And you talk about ejection fractions of 15%. These people cannot function normal day-to-day -day activities well, leave alone going back to playing basketball or and coaching it. What he came to now is amazing. I mean, it's such a good story. This year, the Titans finished with a record of 12 and 15. Classy job, folks. It's the most losing Winston says he's ever had. But given his journey, he's found a new perspective yeah. that's different from other coaches. The victories are not in the wins and the losses here at Frontier. The victories are in what am I doing with these kids? How am I helping them? Because in life, there's wins and losses. The W's don't mean anything. No longer focused on the record, but on a growing resume of kids he's molded into men. Life is about enjoying every moment. You know, I've been given a second chance to do something that I love doing, a second chance to be a better person all around. So it changes you profoundly when you come back from something like that. Stephen Hicks. Family on three. One, two, three. Boom. 23 ABC Sports.